This 1987 Schwinn Latour has been rebuilt approximately two years ago. Since then, it's been moved from house to storage facility to shed to moving truck to house and back into another garage. During the moves, the paint got pretty scratched up as it didn't have any kind of durable clear coat. And eventually I started stealing parts from it. So that leaves it in the sorry state that you see now. Today I'm gonna to go ahead and rebuild the bike to a new, nicer, better version of itself. Many, many, many hours were spent getting every single bit of paint off this bike. I decided to forego actual paint on this bike and go for the raw steel look with a 2K clear coat. Never paint a bike with anything other than an enamel two-part clear coat paint. The general cheap clear coat you get at the hardware store will not work well. Unlike the last time I built this bike up, this time I went with a tapered spindle bottom bracket just so I could use this 2x crank set. This was a 2x crank set that came off a mountain bike, I have no idea which one. Many years ago somebody left a comment on one of my videos telling me that you can actually wrap the bar tape backwards and that that would eliminate the need for any kind of tape to hold on the bar tape in the center top part. And ever since I started doing that, it's the only way I wrap bar tape now. So I actually had to go back on this one, unwrap it and rewrap it the backwards way, which means center to the outside. I have not had any problems with the bar tape falling apart or coming up or anything like that as you might ex otherwise expect to. It just looks way better.
I wanted to use this nice Ultegra front derailleur. However, it was for a larger diameter seat tube. And I thought, hey, I have a lathe. Let's go ahead and make an adapter. However, as I started working on it, I remembered that I had a whole bag of rubber and plastic collars and sleeves. Who knows what they came from or what they're for, but I went digging around and I found one just by luck that's exactly perfect for this application. Just had to trim it down to make it slightly shorter. The results were excellent. It doesn't scratch the frame and it was way easier to make than trying to machine a sleeve. Originally, I was gonna use my drop bolt that I actually used on the original build of this bike. It gave me absolutely no issues at all. However, this time when I was setting it up, it just seemed to be a little bit finicky. And I remembered that I bought these Tektro uh, front and rear calipers. So my recommendation is if you have an old vintage steel bike, you might just want to spend a little bit more money, get one of these Tektro calipers, and then you won't have to fool with making your own drop bolt like I did the first time. This is a mountain bike rear derailleur. It's a Diora XT and it's a mountain bike cassette. But for some reason, and if anybody in the comments knows, uh, it was having an interference. So I ended up changing it out with this SRAM X5. And as you can see, that one has way more clearance and didn't have any issues at all. I wasn't sure what I could do to make the front head tube badge look nicer because it was very faded and kind of scratched up. I was going to try to paint it myself, but I realized it probably wouldn't come out that good. So I decided to mix up some epoxy and just cover the head tube badge with some epoxy to give it kind of a glossy, deeper look. I think it came out pretty okay. After looking at this raw bike for so many hours during the sanding and preparation, at the end here, I realized there was just one more thing to do. This bike was made in 1987. The original Terminator came out in 1984. And with all this raw steel 
aluminum, just this gray and silver. I thought how fitting would it be to give it a nice T800 badge itself. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed the build. I think uh, this is probably my best build I've yet done. I really took a lot of time on this one and tried to enjoy the process. Tried to really uh, focus in on the quality and I, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So if you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, with that, thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day. Bye.